Hi, this is Mike Wade and welcome to this TTR video featuring Tom's Tools and yours truly, Mike Wade. Stock and options trading has large potential rewards, but also large potential risks. You must be aware of these risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the stock and options market. Don't trade money you cannot afford to lose. I am not an advisor. Please don't construe anything that I'm about to share as advice. And all prices are in US dollars unless noted otherwise. Feel free, of course, to read the balance of the disclaimer at your leisure. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about how to use bad news to produce high probability profits. You could consider this to be an ambulance chasing type strategy, but it's very common throughout the year for companies to come out with a bit of bad news. A lot of it could be earnings related, it could be something that happens in the industry, and this news creates a downward pressure in the stock. The stock may tank overnight and setting us up for some really high probability profit. So we're going to get into this tonight. I'll give you an example. This happened with Boeing on March the 12th, 2019. You're aware they had a couple of planes crash within a week or so of each other. They're 737 MAX planes, and that created some uh, downward pressure. The stock actually gapped down when the news came out. It was also rumored that it was part of uh, their navigation system, an issue with that, which uh, put culpability on their part. And all of that was uh, baked into the stock price tanking. On the day that it actually tanked, the stock actually closed toward the high end of the range, as you can see with this candle here. So that's, that's a, an example of some bad news. And with this, we can create some opportunity. So let's get into that. Before I do, though, let's talk about the other benefit of a stock that tanks like this, and that is with Im implied volatility. Implied volatility will also spike up when you see a stock drop to the tune of five or so percent, which is what Boeing did. So that's another side benefit. And then when a stock does that, what we do, the game is to decide where you don't think the stock is gonna go. So uh, this is an idea. We might say that I don't think Boeing is gonna recover right away and have the stock move up above this point here, which is 420. So my line in the sand could be 420. I don't expect the stock to get above 420. So what I could do is sell a call credit spread up here at 420. And then I might also say that I don't think the stock's going to tank too much further, maybe drift down a bit, and I can draw my line in the sand down here at 350, and I could sell a put credit spread down here. And the idea is when I sell these two short-term credit spreads, I make money as long as the stock stays within that range. And the probability of it doing so is very high. So to do all that, we're going to talk about Tom's close percent change ranker. We're going to find bad news stocks, and those are the stocks that have dropped the most in a particular day in terms of percentage. So we'll use the close percent change ranker to do that. And then I'll show you how to construct some basic high probability iron condors, and then how to manage those condors through exit. Let's get into the basics of trading iron condors. To enter them, first off, you're going to sell two credit spreads. You sell an out-of-the-money call credit spread to the upside where you don't think the stock is going to go and then you sell an out of the money put spread to the downside where you don't think the stock is gonna to go to either. It won't drop past that point. Use 30 to 45 day options. And then give yourself at least 1% of ROI potential for every day in the trades. For example, if you have a 30 day iron condor, make sure that you have at least a 30% return on investment. That's a rule of thumb, it's a good one to follow. Stay away from earnings, of course. And then exiting them is really simple, ideally, you want the whole thing to expire worthless, and that happens as long as the stock is between the short strikes, the two credit spreads, or if you find that the stock does move and puts one of your credit spreads in the money, when any of the shorts are in the money, then close down that associated credit spread, and then you're out, and that will minimize the risk in an iron condor. Let's hop into the software, and let me show you exactly how we can find these things, and then also how to uh, build these iron condors. I'm gonna to back test to 311, 2019, and I'm gonna use the stock tool under stock rankers called close percent change. This is a beautiful ranker. Make sure you change the number of days to one. Select bearish, and let's go ahead and search against the S&P 500. So this is something you could do every day, right? Or, or once a, every couple of days looking for these stocks that are tanking the most in a particular day. So again, this is March the 11th. I've clicked bearish. I'm looking for a one day stock change and I'm going against the S&P 500. I hit my search button and then what comes back 
is a list of stocks that have dropped the most on 311. And notice that Boeing is on the top of the list on this particular day. It, it went from 422 down to 400. That's a 20 point drop, 22 and a half point drop for 5.33% drop. Huge trading volume on BA, a good 34 million shares traded on that tanking. And that is a good one. From there, you can go into the chart and take a look and see what's going on with the actual stock. And you can see here that Boeing has, has really tanked quite a bit. So uh, there's this, and that's the same chart I just showed you. So the, the trick is to decide where you think the stock won't go. So typically when stocks do this, uh, remember Boeing is a huge billion dollar plus company and uh, they have more than just the 737 MAX. They'll get through this lawsuit, all the lawsuits and the, and the damages to be paid, et cetera. And the stock will, will probably recover at some stage, but certainly um, I don't think it's going to zero. And we could conceivably say, I think the stock will stay below 420, which is up here at resistance, a few levels of resistance above. And then I could also say, I think it, uh, I don't think it's going to drop below 360 and to give myself a little more extra uh, cushion, I could say 350. So that would be my potential trade. So we could sell at 420 and we could sell at 350. Now to do that, now before I do that though, let me show you what happens with implied volatility on these tankings. And that's the, really the juice, the icing, the secret sauce of this strategy is that the options get expensive and we can sell expensive options, which allows us to get further away from the stock to keep ourselves safe and to maximize our probability of profit. So the next step is to go into option chains and let's create an iron condor on March the 11th. I'm gonna select 32 day options. Again, 30 to 45 day options. Let's select 32 day options. That's close to 30, of course. And now what I wanna do is build my credit spread and. Remember, we said we wanted to sell the 420 call spread on the top side. So you sell the 420 call and give yourself a five point spread and we'll buy the 425 call. That's a credit spread. Sell the lower, buy the higher. And we'll do the same thing down below on these puts. We said we'd sell the 350 puts and let's buy the five points away at the 345 puts. Sell higher, buy lower put. That's going to generate some credit to the downside and then we end up with this very lovely iron condor on boeing this particular iron condor is pulling in 190 dollars credit per contract while risking 310 for potentially a 61 percent return on investment on this iron condor and uh, there you have it look at these uh, break evens they're really encompassing a lot of the range of the stock so as long as the stock stays between the short strikes or these break evens in particular, then as time happens, we make money on this stock. And this is what ultimately happened. The stock just went sideways. And some 30 days later, we ended up with a 61% profit. We netted our full $190 profit while risking 319. Of course, I could have done more contracts, but that just gives you a clue. Do your own math. But the point is you made 61% in a high probability fashion using iron condors. Remember to exit these things. If the stock gets above your, your short call or down below your short put down here at 350, then you close down that, that spread, that associated spread. If that happens during the life of the, the trade, close the losing spread. Otherwise, just let the whole thing expire worthless. All right, that's the close percent change ranker and how to find, find uh, trading opportunities like a lawyer does, like an ambulance chaser does. And the way you use the tool is you use the S&P 500. Make sure you also set one, one day for the number of trading days between the stock change. Select bearish, hit your search button, and you're off to the races. Hope you enjoyed this video, everybody, and I'll see you next time.